She was asking what happens if one of the parties, or both, talking about exclusion of children, says, I'm going to determine if and when we are open to children. Okay, so maybe it's not necessarily that they're not open to children, but they're going to determine when they're open to children. That's actually still exclusion of children because what really is being exchanged here is not the right to children because no one has a right to children. Children are a gift from God. What is being exchanged here is the right to the sexual act, which is open to children. Okay? So, if one of the parties says, I'm in control of that right, okay, so just like my car example here with sister, sister and I are in a contract, and I have to give her the keys to the car and the title, she has to give me the money. She gives me the money, and I give her the keys in the car, but I keep the title, right? I'm in control of the car still. It's an invalid contract. I haven't fulfilled the contract. So the same thing with children. If one of them says, yeah, I'm open to children, but I'm going to decide, then they really haven't exchanged the right to be open to children, and so the marriage would be invalid. Excellent question.